In this video, we are going to be looking at how to build a rogue in Baldur's Gate 3. So, I already know what I'm going to be doing because if you saw my um, longer video about the ultimate character creation stuff, have a look up here. Uh, should be a card. There, there was one race that stood out for me. That race was halfling now the reason it stood halfling stood out for me was because you get um saving throws against oh no not that one <laughs> have i got it wrong uh i got it wrong oh no here we go halflings because for rogues stealth is quite important being able to hide and do sneak attack damage and all that sort of stuff is quite good so what you get with a halfling is reduced movement which can be a bit naff hey ho you get the lucky f uh feet uh, which is when you roll a, a one for an attack roll ability check or saving throw uh, you get to re-roll the dice but you have to use that new dice you also get brave which gives you advantage on saving throws against being frightened which is pretty cool but this is the key one when you're light foot halfling you also get advantage on stealth checks so as you can imagine if we're being a rogue we want to be sneaky we want to sort of like hide and all that sort of stuff having advantage on stealth rolls is going to be clutch so here we go we got rogue so what do we get here uh sneak attack uh, for melee and also sneak attack for range so we can lean into either of those quite hard uh, i quite like the idea of being range but there we go so let's go to our abilities uh, let's start from scratch now as you can imagine and as you can see dexterity is really important for us here so I'm going to whack this up for as far as it will go put the plus two modifier in there um, now I'm also going to have quite a high wisdom now the reason for that is perception if you're going to have like um, running around traps all that sort of stuff uh, that all relies on perception so we're going to put that there um, i'm going to put uh constitution up to 12 so that we're not too like squishy bring that to a 10 and i think i'll dump the rest into charisma so that we can sort of like just talk about like when you're doing all of your um talking and bits and pieces you might be able to talk your way out of it now i'm not actually decided i might put the plus one into charisma so that starting out we get a plus two uh, because if we have the plus one in wisdom we still only got a plus two um, it does mean that if we was to get to level four though we would be able to go uh, a plus one in wisdom which would take that to a plus three and then we would be able to put another one point into dexterity which would take that to a plus four I think we'll have the extra point in charisma starting out because plus two to charisma might be quite good. So let's have a look what we have here. Um, first and foremost, I don't want to be acolyte. I like the idea of criminal. That might be quite good. Uh, anything that's got sleight of hand. We'll go with this one, I think. Skills. Um, although, is there anything else that has sleight of hand? There we go. This might be quite a good one. Now, the reason I say that is... Uh, so, we get these with our expertise, which doubles our proficiency, which is always a good thing. So, I, I probably want to put that in sleight of hand. And we get that from our background. Uh, we get that from our background. But... We might have to do that. Ooh. So we get a plus four there. Plus four there. I like the idea of having um, stealing stuff. It helps with lock picks and pockets and disarming traps. Having a good stealth as well is going to be good. But quite high, uh, decent perception with plus with pluses on a lot. We've only got one minus number there. Um, let's hit confirm, but we're going to go back and change. What difference does that give us? If we go to this. Still got that. Got plus five there. Perceptions plus four. 
I don't really think it gives us any any better skill. Hmm. Not sure any of these give us really like a uh Just trying to see which one gives us the edge. I'm not really sure there is a, a clear winner there. If I go back to uh let's go here. Gonna give us a plus four. Yeah, I quite like this. I think we I think we're gonna stick with our um criminal background. And then editing so nice quick easy short one for you today um i don't really think there's much else in terms of races that's going to be like great for us uh you could lean into an elf i suppose or if you are going to be particularly light fingered having the extra um carrying capacity as a human might be quite good um and you get the extra proficiency but i still think that the uh the advantage on stealth checks is clutch for us as a rogue. So, there you go. Nice, easy, quick one for you today. And I'm going to use this rogue character as my own little personal playthrough. Um, so I'm going to edit this one now and move on to uh, playing the game. I will see you in the next one.